and after that we have uh, in uh, in the length of 48 bits or six byte destination MAC address. This means that we can use the preamble for synchronization between the source and destination between the PC1 and PC2. With the synchronization, we are synchronizing the data sending or frames or uh, sending the, uh, for example, frames between the sender and also destination. And a startup frame delimiter or SFD signifies that the next byte begins the destination MAC address field. You know that after the SFT we have destination MAC address. Because of that, when PC2 uh, can find seven bytes of one zero, okay, and after that one byte of one zero one zero one zero one one, the PC2 can understand that the next bit is the first bit of the destination MAC. Because of that, it can verify the destination MAC or check the destination MAC with its MAC address. If both MAC addresses are same, it should accept the frame and if uh, the two mac addresses are not same the frame should be discarded with that pc okay because of that now you know the function of the preamble and sft i will show you the preamble and sft and source mac and destination mac in this video and also you will see in many times these uh, fields in the ethernet header as you can see we need to add the Ethernet header or layer two header. If you don't add preamble and SFT, okay, the destination doesn't have any, uh, for example, method, uh, any key to find the first of a frame and the last of a frame, okay? Because of that, we are using the preamble and SFT to identify the first the start of the frame and after that when the pc2 will find another preamble and sft in the next frame it can find the end of this frame it's so easy very good until now we learned about the function of preamble and then sft and then destination mac address and after that the source mac address let me to talk about a little about the type what is the function of type okay it is interesting let me write here the type has two bytes you know it okay type is a field with two bytes what is the function of the uh, for example type let me first review some of the topics you learn about them in in this course and also you will learn about them in this course again and in future course okay what is the function of type look at here you know that we should give the packet from the layer 3 protocol for example ip uh, to the ethernet to encapsulating the pack to encapsulating uh, the packet and finally we will have a frame and in the destination again the frame should be accepted and after that the frame should be converted to a packet and this packet should be uh, give to the uh, layer 3 protocol in destination let me to show you look at here this is interesting for us you know that first we are converting the data as you can see here to packet you know it or to segment first segment after that to packet after that uh, to the frame okay and then we can convert this to bits and this uh, or physical for example voltage and these bits can be sent to the destination in destination when uh, the destination receives the bits or the voltage it can convert them to frame okay and you know that after converting the frame the, the ethernet header or the ethernet protocol in the destination should read uh, first the preamble and then the sft if it finds that the uh, the, the first of the frame it can compare the destination MAC address if the destination MAC address is equal with its MAC address now we need another mechanism to find to which protocol in which network protocol we need to give this packet let me to show you look at here we have a network layer protocol then this is the packet I will talk about that look at here and you know that after the after reading the packet the packet should be converted again to the segment uh, with the encapsulation and finally to the original data let me to say that here in layer 3 in most cases we are using IP it's okay okay we are using IP or for example IPv4 okay 
and in destination the ipv4 should receive the packet this means that when you have a packet this is a packet with this in, with the ipv4 header you you should convert this uh, packet to frame and after sending the frame to the destination the frame should be received and in destination we are removing we are de-encapsulating the layer 2 header and layer 2 trailer received from the source and we need to give this packet again the original packet to the ipv4 uh, or the network layer of the destination but the question is that how we can find which protocol should be uh, should be receiver of the packet in destination you know that we have another protocols uh, then uh, for example ipv4 for example we have ipv6 okay another protocol maybe we are sending the uh, packets uh, with the, we, we are giving the uh, ipv6 packet to the this to the ethernet in destination again we need to give this packet to the ipv6 or we have another protocols for example the uh, ibm system network architecture sna or novel netware or digital equipment corporation decknet and apple uh, apple talk okay we have many uh, protocols that uh, they are working in the layer 3 okay in the network layer let me write some of them here maybe it's useful for remembering them in network layer okay yes i know that in most cases we are using ip but we have another protocol more than ip first is ipv4 second ipv6 then maybe you are using r for address resolution uh, for example protocol after that SNA system network architecture, the IBM protocol or DECnet, okay, DECnet, the protocol of the digital equipment corporation and Apple Talk, for example, okay, when you are sending the traffic, you should give the uh, product of these protocols in layer three of the source to the Ethernet. Ethernet should convert it to frame and in destination, we need to give the frame to the similar protocol that we gave this packet from that protocol in the source how the destination can understand can find which protocol is the destination or is the uh, receiver protocol in the uh, layer 3 or in the network layer with the type field when we are sending let me to show you assume that this is the data that we need to advertise it and you know that in data we are using tcp header and then ip header now i'm going to add the ethernet okay here ethernet header here in ethernet header i'm going to add something for example in the type field i write a code the code of the ipv4 this is only for him for uh, inf more information it's not important to remember it the code of ipv4 is 0x is 0x means the this is a hex code and then 0800 for example the code of the ipv6 is 0x86 dd okay if it's if it's correct or the code of the arp is uh, 0x0806 for example the code is not important after that when you are sending this packet as you should write here in the type field that the the code of this packet is 0x0800 this means we received this uh, packet from the ip protocol then you can assign the source mac address this is the source mac address then uh, for example destination mac address as i mentioned before destination mac and then uh, for example we need to add the sfd okay and finally preamble now we can send this packet to the destination this frame destination in destination first the destination after verifying the preamble and sft can find the uh, for example start of the frame then it can compare this the, the destination mac with its mac address and after that you know that the destination should verify the type and after verifying the type uh, or uh, for example, analyzing the type it can understand that the packet should be given to the ip protocol ipv4 protocol because here in type we say that this protocol for in the source is received from the ip protocol and in the destination again we need to give it to the ip protocol because of that we are using the type for identifying the destination network layer protocol that we need to give the ethernet frame to uh, that protocol the function of the type is so important because you know that finally we need we are using the ethernet for uh, for for example transporting the packet from the store to destination and then we need to give this packet to the network layer and because of that we can say the two byte field of type defines the type of protocol listed inside the frame
Today most likely identifies IP version 4 or IP version 6, but we have another protocols and this is the function of type. Now you learn about the all of the fields that is available that are available in the Ethernet header, the type at the type field, the source MAC field, the destination MAC field, the SFT and also preamble. But you know that we have another field in the layer two, uh, for example, a trailer, we call it FCS. Look at here, let me write here. In layer two, as I mentioned before, we need to add two uh, part. The first is layer two header and the second is layer two trailer. Look at here, this is the layer two trailer and the content of the layer two trailer is FCS. I will talk about that. FCS is the abbreviation of the frame check sequence. Okay, what is the frame check sequence? The function of the FCS or frame check sequence with four byte lengths is providing a method for the receiving network interface card to determine whether the frame experienced transmission error or not. But we need to talk a little more about the FCS. Look at here, you know that, for example, in a copper cable, okay, we have some noise around the link. This is a copper cable, okay, and here we have noise ar ar around the uh, cable, okay, we have noise and maybe we are experiencing the EMI, electromagnetic interference, okay. Noise is, ev uh, noise is always available and we can't remove the noise completely but maybe you can reduce the noise okay and you know that we are sending many ones and zero for example we are sending the zero uh, this combination one zero one zero zero one okay when you are sending a frame from source to destination okay this is the source let me write here this is the source and this is the destination pc1 and then pc2 we need a method we need to give a method to destination to find that this packet okay uh, has uh, the uh, has the noise or it doesn't have okay how look at here assume that we are sending this uh, ones and zero but in the destination we are receiving this data it's it's obvious that this is not a good data and we can't use it okay because as you can see one bit is changed one bit is sufficient for corrupting all of the data how we can find this one bits changed okay with the fcs this is a function of the fcs or frame check sequence let me to talk about that Look at here, when we are sending a, a, a pack, a frame to destination, for example, this frame, okay, after creating the frame, let me to write here, this is the frame, packet plus the layer two header. The layer two header contain the type, let me to write here, the, the source MAC address, the destination, uh, for example, MAC address, okay, and then the, uh, for example, SFT, and then the preamble, okay, this is a frame, okay. Uh, bis, uh, before adding the SFT and preamble, okay? This is the layer two header uh, uh, without the uh, SFT and preamble. Before adding the SFT and preamble to the, uh, for example, frame, in source, we are doing or we are using one method, we call it CRC or cyclic redundancy check. This is a mathematical calculation. We are calculating from this a part a number the, the length of this number is 32 bits for example assume that we are adding the uh, the ones and zero to each other or any other in any other mathematical method it's the method is not important for this course but after calculating the crc or cyclic redundancy check from this part okay we need to add the crc to the end of the frame and in the FCS field here as you can see we have 4 byte or 32 bit lengths because of that we can add the CRC in the we can write the CRC in the FCS field because of that now we are sending the CRC inside the FCS field or frame check sequence to the destination after that we can add